Well, it's not all tennis balls, travel, flights, and hotels for players on the ATP World Tour. There's some really tough parts, like getting pampered by beautiful women, like Amanda for promotional shoots. Uh, no, I didn't do anything special. It's all, all the time like this. I my like that. That's not bad. But in all seriousness, here at the BNP Paribas Open, it's a great opportunity. All the top players come through here for this photo shoot, and then the promotional shots are used for their publicity throughout the year for the tournaments they play in, and especially the Barclays HB World Tour Finals. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It's an unbelievable uh, arena, obviously playing at home, and uh, the whole promotion to the event was good. Right now, Clive is working his magic with Spain's Nicolas Almagro. We have the opportunity to have Clive Brunskill here with us on the show. And you're the photographer for this shoot. And you'll get real economy of scale here. You'll get all the top players here in one-stop shopping here at the BNP Party yeah. Open. We aim to do like 35 to 40 players plus the top 10 doubles teams. So uh, it's a lot of shooting, you know. And today we've got like 14 or 15, and that's a lot. So far today, you've done uh, Marcus Bagdadis. He had a lot of attitude in the pitches, which was good. It's part of what we do, you know. We, 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 we're a bit used to it, and I mean, it's, uh, you have to enjoy doing it, you know. You have to find uh, all the time the, the way to have fun, so that's what I try to do. I like the arm. And a lot of times, it seems like the personalities from the court spill over. Moya's more yeah. of a contained person. Bedadis is very extroverted. Well, the best player we had was last night was Yevgeny Kurilov. Kurilov. But he was great, just fun, and that was all laughing. And it was, we waited till 9 o'clock at night, 8.30ish, 8 and it was freezing cold in the tent, and dark and windy, and, and he was great, you know. He, he came in and gave us a good yeah. set of pictures. Yeah, I love to play, to play in New Orleans. It's my, uh, one of my uh, favorite tournaments to play here. You know, it's, I love it. You know, I'll, uh, first of all, I love the desert here. It's, it's great. I love this tournament. And now, walk us through over here. The, the lighting, the background, it's all part of getting the shot, the perfect shot. So you would stand right there like that, yeah? Can I, see how, can, we, can, can I see how that looks? Can would we, you, can we get would one you like a shot? Take I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a shot of it. Come on. Yeah. It's a little bit different to, you know, when you're playing the juniors, but it's, you know, it's good for the tour. Uh, I think it all, you know, all helps to promote the, the events and stuff. So I think everyone enjoys it. It's not, not too long, not too painful. Yeah, that's one, that's the one right there. That's as good as I've ever looked. Yeah, and we can zoom in as you can see. Yeah, we don't, that's, that's not as great. <laughs> if you can make me look good, yeah. imagine what you could do for the rest. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we stay stateside as we bring you a special behind-the-scenes report from the Sony Ericsson Open in Miami. And we speak to Holland's Raymond Schleuter. Personal tragedy took him away from the game. Now he's fighting his way back into the top 50. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. See you next week.